Okay, so today we're going to go through stereochemistry for organic compounds. Now, the objective here is to determine where are the chiral carbons for this molecule. So I'm going to give you a short time to think about and circle all the chiral carbons present in this molecule here. Alright, maybe you can pause first and then resume the video now. Right, let's go through. How many chiral centers do you count? Let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is that all? Yes. Alright, so now let me teach you how do you find out where are the chiral carbons. This is the same molecule. What you do first is you look out for something like a Mercedes sign. Three lines emerging out. Because a chiral center is defined as a carbon with four different groups attached to it. Or if I have a junction here, it means that this carbon connects to a hydrogen that's invisible, the oxygen, a carbon that connects to a triple bond nitrogen and a carbon that belongs to a benzene ring. So, benzene, CN, oxygen, and the hidden hydrogen that's not shown, they're all different, and hence this is a chiral center. For that case, I'm pointing to, again, the same old story. This carbon must have four bonds, but only three are being shown here. One, two and three. It means that the fourth bond must be connected to the hydrogen, again that's invisible, but we know it's there because we're chemists. And hydrogen, iodine, CH3, and the benzene. And again they're all different, so this carbon must be chiral. Let's move on. A carbon that has three lines emerging out, look. You may think that at the first look, oh these are just oxygen, aren't they the same? So you look further, you don't just stop at the first atom. That oxygen I'm going with connects to a carbon with a CN and a ring. That oxygen, if I go north, connects to a carbon with two more carbons that's a hydroxy group. So this whole part is different from the other fragment. So that's why these two branches are different. And when you have a carbon with four different branches, it is chiral. For that carbon, it's the same trick. One, two, three. And of course, the fourth one, hydrogen, is all different. Right. Next, this carbon connects to a hydrogen, OH, a carbon with OH, a carbon with OH. Again, this is a bit more than meets the eye. You don't just stop here, you go further. So, Use the two fingers, go left and right, and then we check. Let's go right first. You go right by a single atom, a carbon with OH, carbon with double O. On the left, you have a carbon with OH and carbon. So if you go atom by atom, the two paths approaches different groups. So that's why this is a chiral center. For that carbon, you conduct the same old trick, you realize that again is chiral. Same for this, chiral. 